What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are doing a Born Primitive review and we're gonna see what it's all about. So Born Primitive is a clothing brand that is mostly focused in the CrossFit athlete kind of space and they have male and female clothing and I've always been really interested in it because I follow a lot of the athletes that they sponsor like Amanda Barnhart, Daniel Spiegel, Bethany Shadburn. I follow all of them and I really like the clothes that they have. They look really fun and stylish and so with this review I really wanted to see how the quality of the clothes were, how well they hold up during a workout and see how they work with my body type. A lot of the athletes that they do sponsor are very slender or thin and I'm not as slender. I'm a little more curvy and I kind of have love handles so I really wanted to see how this kind of held up with my body type because you know we're all different we all have different bodies so I wanted to see how it held up with my body type so first we're going to kind of get our first impressions try on the clothes see what it's all about and then we're gonna put it to the test and try a little bit of a CrossFit workout and see how it goes so let's get into it so the first thing that we got is a sports bra and it looks really cute I mean look at the colors I mean Wow, the colors look really nice. Also, look at the back of that. Oh, I love the back of it. That's why I chose it, because of the back. It also comes with some boob pads, of course. And honestly, these are really nice quality because I've seen boob pads in sports bras before and they're just crappy as crap. So it's nice to have these. And it's also nice to have it as an option to put into your sports bra if you want. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. It stretches pretty well. Wow got a lot of give to it I'm really surprised wow I got a size medium in the sports bra because that's what I usually range around I mean for my body I usually range between medium and large so I went for medium for my upper so for the sports bra and I went large on the bottom because I I got some big thighs so we're gonna see how they fit hopefully they all fit because I think it's a little too late for me to return these things but yeah sports bra really cute so let's try this on so we have the sports bra on and I don't mind it. I like it. The material feels really nice. I love the colors of it. I think it's really fun and vibrant. The only thing is I find it pretty loose around here for a medium especially. I thought that their clothes fit a bit small according to the reviews. A lot of their clothes fit small and I almost feel like I could fit in a small in this almost. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. But this is it without the boob pads in it. I'm going to put them in in a second and see if it changes anything. Also, the straps, this is a very, very low impact sports bra, especially for a girl. I'm like medium sized chested, I'm not very big chested, so this is really a no-go for someone who has a bigger chest. I am obsessed with the back, as you guys can see. It is so cute. I do have other sports bras that are thin straps like this, and I find that they have better support than this one does, which I'm a little surprised about. I thought that this would have decent support and I thought it would be a little more compressive where it's not as compressive as I thought it was. But let's try it with the boot pads in. So with the boot pads in, it feels a little more secure and maybe a little bit tighter. I think I'm going to leave them in. I prefer them in. Don't get me wrong, I really do like this sports bra. It's just not a great sports bra for when I'm going to be going running or things like that. It's not gonna hold these in very well. But I do like it. I think that the colors are fun and vibrant and I really like the back of this. I think the back is a lot of fun. I'm obsessed with fun sports bras. When people do creative things, I really like it. And I also do like on the inside here, as you guys can see, it's like lined gray, I guess you could say. Like it's a very well good lined sports bra, especially with it being white. And if you're not going to use the boob pads, you don't want it to be see-through. So they did line the inside with gray which I really do like as well. I think the quality of this is really good. I think the colors are really nice and the design is really nice. However, this is a low impact sports bra but overall does seem really cute and I do like it on my first impressions. The next item I'm a little, I guess, nervous about. I'm not a huge shorts person at all. Like when it comes to CrossFit and shorts, I'm not a big fan of wearing shorts during CrossFit. I wore shorts for so long in cheerleading and I absolutely hated it. I'm not a shorts person, especially a girl with big thighs, not really shorts person, but I've been slowly trying to get back into it. I really, like, on the hot days, it's nice to wear shorts instead of leggings. And so I picked myself up a pair of shorts. I'm excited and nervous. So when it comes to CrossFit shorts, they are really short and usually low rise, which I hate. But these ones are actually high rise, so that is why I chose them. I mean, they have actually have a really big stretch to them, which is actually quite surprising because 
When I was kind of looking at some of the reviews on Born Primitive, a lot of people said that they fit small, so we'll see how they go. But I mean, they look nice. They, the material is really nice, first impression, really nice. And they seem really stretchy. Like I'm actually, I'm quite surprised. I don't know, I, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm definitely nervous to see how they work out when I work out. They seem a little big, but we'll see how they fit. So let's go try them on. So I have the shorts on now and I am so surprised. I thought that these wouldn't fit at all. Originally I was like, oh, these might not fit. But they fit pretty good. They are pretty giving, I guess you can say. They do have quite a good stretch to them. So if you're going to go for their high rise shorts, I would recommend like not sizing up because I find that they have a really good stretch to them. And they're not too bad, actually. I think that they're pretty cute, pretty good. I actually did not check if they are see-through. So I'm gonna go in my mirror and I'm gonna go check if they are see-through. So it is very important to me to make sure that my shorts aren't see-through. So we're gonna do the see-through test where I bend over and see if they're see-through. <laughs> do you guys just do this? I do this in changing rooms all the time where I just bend over and see if they're see-through. But I don't think that they are. So I think I got a pretty good look and I don't think that they are see-through. And I'm actually really surprised. These are so comfortable. They're nice and high-waisted. I like these, I really do. And I'm picky about shorts and pants and I really like these. They're so comfortable. I feel like I can exercise in these. And honestly, I feel like they won't ride up too bad because most shorts, they're pretty tight around the legs, especially for me, I just have really big thighs. And I feel like these don't feel like they're gonna ride up, I don't know. They don't feel like it too bad. I would say that these do kind of give me a bit of kind of camel toe a little bit. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm okay, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes, but I mean, that's really how the woman body is shaped kind of thing. We just can't help it sometimes when it comes to clothing, so it is what it is. But honestly, and it looks so cute with this sports bra, I'm really impressed, I must say. I'm pretty impressed with them, and I think that they're pretty comfortable. So the last item that I got is these leggings. And first of all, I am obsessed with this color, especially now that fall is coming in. How cute is this color? I mean, really. I'm a little nervous about these as well. I'm very picky when it comes to my bottoms, as you guys see. Um, <laughs> when it comes to my leggings, I am very, very picky about them. I make sure that they have a drawstring in them because your girl's got some curves and they fall down when there's no drawstring. So I'm a little nervous about these because they don't have a drawstring but they're pretty high-waisted and they seem to cinch in pretty well. Oh, I hope they fit. The material is super nice. I actually really like the material. These remind me of the uh, Lululemon Wonder Under leggings. That's what they remind me of. So I really hope I like them because I really like the color so much, like a lot, but we'll see how it goes. Let's, let's try it on. Okay, guys, I'm obsessed. I, I was not gonna lie, I was really nervous because I didn't think that these were gonna fit. They looked a little small and I was nervous, but look at me go, they fit really well. And I already did the kind of squat test and to see if they are see-through and I don't see anything. They, they're very, I don't even know how to describe it. They're not the same material as the shorts. They're more of like a new looks feeling, I think is the term that it is. These are not the same material as the shorts. The shorts are more of like a cottony feeling where these are more of like a spandexy. I think the word is new looks kind of feeling. They're definitely a different material, but they are so comfortable. I am so surprised. I am really, guys, I'm genuinely surprised. When I first pulled them out, I was a little nervous. They looked pretty small and they looked like they didn't have a lot of give to them. And when I put them on, they, they what? They have, so much give to them. They're so comfortable. They kind of go down to my ankle and I'm like 5'6", five, 5'5". Five, five. So they hit me at a pretty good spot. I'm not someone who likes the full length leggings. I'm someone who likes the kind of like 7th, 8th legging kind of thing. And these fit really well. I mean, I am, I am surprised, I gotta say. I'm really, really surprised. I didn't think that these would fit and that was my number one concern is that it's hard for me to find leggings because I have bigger thighs and a smaller waist. And so sometimes it's really hard for me to find pants that fit me really well. And these fit pretty well. I'm really 
surprise and they also hit pretty high over the belly button which I also like I'm a huge high-rise person I hate when things are like under my belly button but when I can pull them over I like that they're also very compressive which I like as well it kind of holds things in the big question is is do they stay up when working out because I love my leggings that kind of have a drawstring here that kind of hold me in and cinch me in whereas these don't have anything so I'm hoping I'm hoping keeping my fingers crossed that they stay up during a workout so let's go work out and put these to the test and see how they turn out but so far I really like these is done and I'm tired not gonna lie I'm a little tired from that workout we tried to put everything to the test I mean I have limited equipment so it didn't like exactly put like the weightlifting aspect to the test but we put the hit part and the like body weight part to the test when it comes to CrossFit and overall I'm actually really pleasantly surprised so we're gonna talk about the sports bra first the sports bra I really do like However, it is a very light impact sports bra. The straps don't have very much hold to them and as a girl who is like kind of mid-sized chested, they don't hold them in that great. It's not a great sports bra when it comes to double unders or even running. I didn't put running to the test because we have construction happening on the road and can't exactly run through the construction workers and especially David, <laughs> he couldn't even follow me. He'd be running, uh, it would just be a mess. So I know that it would not work when it comes to running. Box jumps, it wasn't too, too bad, but I could definitely feel that it wasn't really supporting my breast when it came to double unders. I'm someone who does like more of a compressive sports bra, kind of holds the girls in so I don't have to worry about them. I can't say for every single sports bra that they have, but for this one in particular, it does have a little bit of give to it. I would say the band here isn't super tight and it's just not super compressive. However, I think that this will be a sports bra that I will wear on like Olympic lifting days, weightlifting or accessory days, days that are just like lower impact and I just don't need to go for a run. I love the color of it. I love the back of it as I've said many times already. I do like this sports bra. I, there are pros and cons to it, that is for sure. But it's a good sports bra just if you have a mid-size to a larger size chest. This might not be the top pick sports bra for you if you're going to be doing high impact stuff. However, doing low impact stuff is actually not bad at all and it's actually just really comfortable. The material is really comfortable and I'm happy with it. There is just a lot of give to this so it's not just going to hold your puppies in very well if you know what I mean. So next is the shorts and as you guys saw I kind of switched halfway through my workout from my leggings to the shorts because I really wanted to try both of them and put both of them to the test and see how they worked because they are both two different materials. These are definitely a softer material as I said before and I'm pleasantly surprised with them. I'm really not a person who loves to work out in shorts and I actually really like these. They were high-waisted, which is something that I absolutely love because most shorts don't come high-waisted. So when they come high-waisted, I love that so much. The band around the top isn't super compressive, but it is a little bit compressive. Same with the uh, part around the thighs. They're not like pushing them in or anything like that. There's no like bump on the end. Like, you know when shorts are tight around your thigh and there's like a bump? No, 
they don't do that. There's some give to it, which is really nice, and it lays pretty flat when it comes to the thigh, which is something that I really do like. It fits really, really well, and I'm really happy about that. I think that these are really comfortable shorts, and I'll probably try working out them more often. These are definitely, definitely a new favorite of mine, and I can't wait to try them out just a little bit more and see how they really go with it, but for a workout, I think that they were pretty good. I didn't like have to worry about pulling them up or anything. They stayed up, which is always nice. And now for the leggings. These were something that I was really nervous about because I am very, very particular about my leggings. And honestly, I am so surprised when it comes to these leggings. First of all, I'm still obsessed with the color. I think the color is great. And when I was working out, I actually discovered something that I did not notice before and I think I love it and I think I get the concept behind it. This is how I interpret this, but when it comes to leggings, a lot of times it will be a single seam when it goes like up the leg into the crotch and back down. So it's just one single seam. And as someone who has bigger thighs, that seam usually is the first thing to give out when it comes to leggings that I wear. And this one has a double inseam. Can you guys see that? It's like a double inseam into the crotch. And what I notice is that like when my thighs touch, it's not necessarily rubbing the single seam together. Like the two seams are kind of like sp spaced out enough so that it's not rubbing together and it's just the material part. So I'm thinking that they did that so the seam won't give out, which I think is genius. I think that is great, especially as a girl who has big thighs and the inseams are always giving out. I think that this is such a great idea so that it doesn't give out on that like middle inseam. I really hope I'm making sense, but that was something that I noticed when I was working out. I was like, damn, that's a really, really good idea. So when it comes to the stay up ability, I guess you can say of these leggings, I was actually pretty surprised about that too. I know for sure that these will not replace my Lululemons that have the drawstring in them. I like those. I think that they're great because I don't have to ever touch them during a workout usually. However, when I was working out with these, they didn't really fall down and I didn't really have any issues with them. I do have some Lululemon Wonder Unders which are very similar to these. And my Lululemon ones are always falling down. I'm always having to pull them up by the legs, even by the waist, and it's really annoying and I never usually work out in them. However, with these, I didn't really have to touch them that much. There was a couple times where the waist kind of fell down a little bit and I kind of pulled it up. I would like to try these when I go for a run or something like that, just to see. I don't think that they'll be great for running, but I don't think that they'll be that bad. So I will have to put these to the test when it comes to running. So maybe subscribe if you wanna see a vlog of me trying these in a run and see if they hold up. I think that they're really compressive and really good and they do stay up really well. Like I was actually really pleasantly surprised with them. And these would probably come into a close second of like my drawstring leggings and then these I think are the best leggings that I've tried on so far because I've tried on so many leggings and they just don't work for me and so far I think that these work pretty well and I'm really impressed with them. They're not see-through, which I really like. They're a good, thick material. The waistband is like doubled, kind of. Like it's folded over, which I really like, so it does make it a little more compressive. And I'm really impressed with these. I think they're really comfortable and I think that they worked really great when it came to the workout. So overall, I think Born Primitive is a really great clothing brand, especially when it comes to CrossFit. I'm really impressed with a lot of their stuff. I'm genuinely surprised. I thought a lot of this stuff probably wouldn't fit me or they just wouldn't stay up. Like I was so worried about these leggings not working for me. And in the end, I'm actually really impressed and I'm really happy with them. Like I'm really not upset with anything that I have. I really do like each and every piece. Obviously there are pros and cons, but in the end I do like them a lot. So I'm genuinely impressed and I'm surprised more people don't wear their clothes. Like. There are people who are sponsored by them, but the everyday Joe, I don't really see wearing Born Primitive. So I'm really surprised more people don't wear these often. It's, I think, a little bit of an underrated brand. I think their clothes hold up pretty good and they're actually really good materials and they seem like they're made really well. Their prices are definitely mid-range. They're not too high or they're not too low, which I do like. It's not too bad and they do have sales. There's tons of people on Instagram who always have a 10% discount code. If you guys need any recommendations, whether you're in the UK, 
in the US or even in Canada. Let me know down below if you want me to recommend a discount code to you. I can definitely help you guys with that. So yeah, I'm really happy with these and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you wanted to see me do more reviews on CrossFit clothing brands, let me know down below. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And don't forget to be unstoppable and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting brown, baby, drinking up